Research suggests that about 35% of IELTS students don't actually achieve their desired band score on their first attempt in the IELTS speaking section. So whether you're aiming to achieve a higher band or struggling with nervousness, then guess what? These tips will actually boost your confidence and performance on exam day. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Miss Wafa and I'm an experienced IELTS teacher here in Canada. And in today's video, I'm actually going to provide you with the most practical strategies to help you excel on your IELTS speaking test. So the first tip I wanted to discuss is to use connectors to speak more fluently. So throughout the video, I'm going to provide you a sample answer for every given tip that I'm going to discuss in this video. So that way, you know exactly how to use them on exam day. So the first tip is to use connectors to speak more smoothly throughout your discussion. So take a look at the sample question. What do you think about the impact of technology on modern society? And the sample answer would be, well, from where I stand, technology has really changed the game for modern society. I mean, it's totally revolutionized. Well, it's totally revolutionized with how we communicate making it a lot easier and quicker than the past. And you know, it's not just that, it's also changed a bunch of industries. I would say like the healthcare industry and education field for the better. But like, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are so many real concerns about privacy and stuff like that. And the second tip is use different sentence structures throughout your responses. So take a look at the sample question. How do you usually spend your weekends? An example response would look like, hmm, it's a bit of a mixed bag, you know? Saturdays uh, are all about running errands, getting things done around the house, and I would say Sunday is more of a relaxing day, spending time with my family and maybe reading a book or cooking a meal that my family and I could enjoy together. And the third tip is use common phrases and expressions throughout your responses. So have a look at this sample question. What's your take on the importance of exercise? So a great response to this question would be, oh, absolutely, I think exercise is key for staying on top of things. I mean, it's not just about staying fit, it's about feeling good inside and every single day. Lately, I've been making it a point to actually get moving regularly. And let me tell you, it's been a game changer and let me tell you, it's made a world of a difference in how I feel daily. And the fourth tip is learn new words and use them in your answers. So have a look at the sample question. How do you feel about, about the impact of social media on society? And a great response to give is honestly, I'm kind of torn on this one. I would say social media has its perks, you know, like staying connected with everybody is very easy but there's also a downside to social media i've been really thinking about this lately and how exactly it could spread misinformation and make us all a bit too obsessed with our devices and the fifth tip is add words that actually describe things things that happen so for example, what were your impressions of your recent vacation? So a great way to respond to, to respond to this is say something like, oh yeah, let me tell you, my recent vacation was something else. I was completely blown away by the sights and sounds throughout the city of Madrid. Everything was so vibrant and alive from wandering through the historical sites to indulging in local cuisine. Honestly, it was an experience that I will never forget. So these are the five tips I wanted to share with you. 
I want you to remember these on exam day and don't forget to let me know which tip you found the most helpful and you're going to try to use on exam day. And before you go, I want you to download our free IELTS study plan. You could find the link in the description box. It's going to really help you prepare for exam day. And I hope to see you soon. All the best on your preparation. And don't forget that learning English actually takes time and requires baby steps to see a, a world of a difference. And inshallah, you guys will get there. Assalamu alaikum and have a good day.